MVP, half man, half amazing, Lil Omi, the king of interviews. Mfalmi wa mahujiano, Africa mashariki, anapendwa na vijana wa jaja. Interview zake, lazima ziende viral. Hapa ni mastori, kwenye mic, star wako, anafukuka. Washa data, ongeza sauti, hii ni Lil Omi Podcast, the Lil Omi Podcast. Turn it up loud. Taina waka. All right, cool, let's go. <laughs> Ebana mambo vipi kama kawa, mini Lil Omi, the MVP, half man, half amazing, the king of interviews, TZ Most Wanted, karibu kwenye the Lil Omi Podcast. Make sure na subscribe channel hii Lil Omi TV subscribe hapo chini kizazi gonga like angusha comment share link ya video hii hapa interview hapa kali sana na washikaji zako kwenye WhatsApp zile ma group and stuff like that pia unaweza kai share kwenye zile page zako za social media popote pale kwa sababu wana inabidi waelewe kila kitu kuhusiana na artist ambaye niko naye leo kwenye game ya Bongo Flavor very young very talented very energetic yani ana uwezo mkubwa sana and leo kwenye the little omi podcast niko na abi charms yes, ushindi ni mwingi umewaka oh, asante <laughs> umekula white flan hivi nini imezingatiwa oh you love white right white mm-hmm. the color mm-hmm. yeah naipenda sana oh yeah sana 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 yes kizazi sana <laughs> kwanza tuanzie kwenye style yako ya nywele alafu tupiga story kila kitu kuhusiana na mziki wako okay. and stuff like that yes. yeah tell me about it mm-hmm. my hair um unajua mimi nyole mimi ni mtu ambao nyole yangu ya natural ni ndefu mm-hmm. kwa hiyo yani kuzifanya na kuzitengeneza kila siku za zingine zinatosha oh, yeah. <laughs> kwa hiyo napenda sana kufanya like rasta and braids and stuff like that so mm-hmm. that's why i love having it like this oh yeah kizazi yeah. sana Asante. perfect sasa nataka nisikie leo kutoka kwako i've heard that story yako ya maisha like when you were growing up mm. ni very amazing i've just heard that mm. tell us about story yako ya ukwaji wako katika ukwaji. maisha yeah. okay um hish hapo zamani za kale mhm uh, nilizaliwa miaka mm-hmm. 2003 mm-hmm. um nimezaliwa kwenye familia ya okay niko kwenye familia ya watu watano mm-hmm. <laughs> um Ya yeah, mama yangu baba yangu ni dada, dada mkubwa mm-hmm. na mdogo wangu akaja baadaye. Yeah. Um yeah I don't know like f- nimekuwa too very I don't know I guess I can say ni mtu ambao namshukuru Mungu I've had a very happy childhood you know mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. just always around my family um nimekulia sana ndani ya muziki pia kwa sababu kwenye familia yangu kuna muziki sana oh, kama yeah. babu yangu alikuwa ni mwanamuziki alikuwa ni director wa a musical director in an orchestra wow. bibi yangu ni mwimba kwa aya mm-hmm. naimba ni mwimbaji um so it's just very like I grew up in a very musical environment. Yani mm-hmm. kwa hiyo tangu nilikuwa mdogo sana like miaka 5 ndo nilianza kujifunza kupiga kinanda, ndo nikaanza kujifunza violin and etc etc. Yeah, so in a nutshell, mm-hmm. um unajua cuz I'm very old. Yani nikaanza kuelezea my my entire life story. We'll stay here forever tutakaa mm-hmm. hapa sana. Mm-hmm. So just make it short. In a nutshell, my mm-hmm. life has just been that like just really yeah. So umeenda kusomea muziki kabisa, right? Yes. Oh yeah, na Inspiration ya mziki ukiachana na kwamba umeipata kwenye familia mm. wewe mwenyewe personally yeah. ilikuja vipi because najua ni very talented una uwezo wa kucheza una, as in kucheza as in ku dance lakini pia yeah. ku play instrument zile yeah. unacheza vizuri yeah. lakini pia wewe ni moja kati ya watu ambao unaji express yani feelings uko connected na mziki yeah. ukiwa unaimba with emotions and yeah. everything yeah. at very yani early age umri mdogo sana unaweza kufanya hivi vitu yeah. kwako ilikuwaaje Yani sijui I think kwangu for me like muziki ni kama kitu ambayo imekuwa too inborn mm-hmm. yani niki sijui imetoka wapi like naweza kusema imekuwa kwenye familia yangu and all of that stuff lakini i feel like muziki ni kile ambayo nili nilileta duniani kufanya like it's my purpose like wow. it's my calling like yeah. nimezaliwa kufanya muziki you know yeah. so tangu nilikuwa mdogo sana like nilikuwa nawaimbia madoli zangu my barbie dolls na waweka kwenye msaya yani kama niko kwenye concert flani you know <laughs> um hata kabla sikuanza kupiga like kinanda and stuff nilikuwa nachukua labda masufuria na oh. wiko nafanya pom 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 you know like stuff au nachukua mm-hmm. mm, nani chanuo na ifanya hiyo na koki taka hiyo yani i think nimekuwa like the inspiration nimetoka within yani ndani yani, wangu tu it was just natural you 
music has always been it's there. It's just always been a part of me. Oh yeah. yeah. Nyumbani walikuwa wanachukuliaje like unacheza masufuria, unacheza vinanda. Yes. Ha, walikuwa wa find kama mm. ni usumbufu hivi, kama ni utundu sana. Actually nadhani wazazi wangu walisema eh sasa nimechoka kila siku nasikia gong gong gong. Mm-hmm. Ngoja tu ni mnunulie mtoto wangu. <laughs> Kinanda kweli kwa sababu kila siku anafika makelele jikoni bam bam bam. Yeah. Um lakini um jokes aside namshukuru Mungu sana wazazi wangu like wamekuwa wakini support tangu nilikuwa mdogo yani waligundua kwamba nina karama mm-hmm. na walini support you know na kunitia moyo like okay well, anapenda muziki let's encourage her you know so yeah. they they took it very well and i'm very grateful for that congratulations by the way yeah. when ni moja kati ya wasanii wa kike wenye umri mdogo sana east africa naweza kusema labda africa as a whole mm. kuwa signed yes. na sony yeah. music one yeah. of the biggest mm-hmm lebo in the world yeah. lakini pia uko manage na rockstar yes. hii ni kitu kikubwa sana actually yeah. ni achievement kubwa kuipata kwa umri mdogo mm-hmm. hii deal ya ku sign na Sony mm. na kuwa manage na rockstar ili kuja vipi yeah so nili okay obvious all, all of this ilikuwa like it happened because of seven mosha oh yeah ni mtambao nimekuwa nikimfuatilia and she's been like an inspiration to me kwa mm-hmm. sababu ni mimi ni unajua nafanya kazi na UNICEF Tanzania sana ku mm-hmm. um, tetea haki za watoto um, advocate for children's rights especially mental health afya mm-hmm. yakini na usawa wa kijinsia oh, yeah. kwa anything to do with women empowerment for me is so uplifting mm-hmm. kwa nilivyoona I'm seven and I've just doing her thing you know alikuwa she's managed really really big actually the first female kwa record exactly. executive at Sony exactly. in Africa that's kwangu mimi nimekuwa it's like a it's like a inspiring story i think kwa mm-hmm. wanawake young girls wasichana wadogo all over the world kwamba if you just set your mind you can do anything kwa sababu industry ya muziki sio tu Tanzania lakini duniani kote it's very male dominated mm-hmm. yani ndio kuna wanawake kwenye industry wa imbaji, DJs and etc lakini executives wako chache sana yeah. like very few kwa mm-hmm. someone like seven she really inspired me and i was like i really i want to be connected with someone like that mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. you know who can you know be i can she can be a part of my journey and also show other young girls that whatever you set your mind to doing you can do oh yeah, yeah. so ni wendo limcheki seven au ilikuwaje yeah so it's funny because mimi ni limcheki i love who it's like she already had like thoughts about reaching out to me it was wow. like fate i know oh, yeah. so all of it worked out really well and i'm just i'm just really ex- like grateful for everything yeah. and by the way how do you feel was uh, again signed under sony yeah. na kwa manage na yeah. Rockstar. Yeah, for me it's just honestly it's very uh, I just feel really honored, you know, mm-hmm. just kuwa like a like a one of the very first females to represent East Africa. Mm-hmm. You know, see mm-hmm. like in East Africa on such a major record label kama mm-hmm. Sony. Unajua Sony ni label ambayo na represent watu kama Justin Bieber, mm-hmm. ASAP Rocky, mm-hmm. Doja Cat and mm-hmm. now Abby Chams, you know? oh, yeah. So kuwa tu ku just represent my country and East Africa and the African sound, bongo on flavor a scale. sound yeah. on a global scale. Kwangu mimi it's a huge honor mm-hmm. and it's not something that I take lightly. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Sasa nataka kwanza nisikie hapo hapo kutoka kwako. Kama ulivyosema ulivo kwamba game imekuwa imetawaliwa sana na wasanii wa kiume mm-hmm. au jinsi ya kiume. Mm-hmm. Where again unafanya lakini ni binti mdogo bado. Mm-hmm na inadaiwa kwamba it's not easy for female artist mm-hmm. to get it to the top mm-hmm. na kufika katika hizo nafasi and stuff like that mm-hmm. how hard was it for you kuweza kufika katika hizo nafasi ukiweka mchango wa 7 mm-hmm. na watu wengine lakini you being the female artist mm-hmm. how hard was it to get in the game yeah obviously i think everyone's story is different lakini kwangu mimi there's always this like um stigma around female artists mm-hmm. you know kwa sababu especially mimi nilianza kufanya muziki nilikuwa mdogo sana yeah. um You know, ukiwa you're growing up kama mwanamke ni tofauti sana na ukiwa una grow up kama mvulana let's say especially in the spotlight. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu wana for women for girls there are so many opinions and 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 thoughts that society has of who you should be, you know, like the type of person that a girl should be, the type of things a girl should do. Mm-hmm. So for me it's Kuna always that- There's like Utazamu a narrative. Wa wana, yeah, yeah, exactly around it. So, mm. you know, like nilipoanza kuwa kupaka makeup, let's say, nimefikisha umri, people are like, "Whoa, why are you being like this? Why are you fake? Why are you this and that?" You know, and it's like, if I were a guy, I wouldn't have to worry about things like it's just because I'm a girl, everyone feels like they have an they need to have an opinion over everything that I do. You know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, definitely it's been hard in that way, lakini pia unakutana na watu kwenye industry ambao wanaona kwa sababu like 
I don't know how to say this, but they feel like they need to get something from you as a girl mm-hmm, to mm-hmm. put you somewhere. You know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wanaweka, wanawake wengi, wana, they normally they get stuck because they're put in a place where it's like, oh my God, like this is my, I don't know, this is a director, this is a producer. If I don't do this, I'm not going to get what I need from mm-hmm, them. I'm not going to mm-hmm. get my music out there. Mm-hmm. So for me, it was just a matter of just knowing who I am and, and having my morals in check and what I believe in. And yeah. Oh yeah? Yeah. Na familia yako pia imekuwa very supportive kwenye hilo. Yeah, sana. They've been very very supportive like my wazazi wangu ni watu ambao wamekuwa wananishika mkono sana. Yeah. So even when I do encourage these challenges like unakutana na mtu they want to take advantage unataka kuchukua advantage of mm-hmm. you like naweza kuongea na wazazi I can talk to them about it and they can advise me you know on what to do about it. So mm-hmm. I'm really grateful to have so, had their support. So wana wamekuwa kikutokea sana. Mm. Nini? Wana wamekuwa kikutokea sana. Wana. Yeah. Washkaji oh, guys washkaji. they've yeah. been approaching you Oh yes yeah Oh yeah yeah sana Mara nyingi wana slide DM nini mm-hmm. and stuff like that Yeah Like I mean yeah it's just like mimi si mtu that gets distracted easily like I know what I want and kwa hiyo nikipata hizo DMs I'm just like whatever <laughs> Unapotezea yeah, tu Yeah unapotezea tu Oh yeah sawa mm. tutarudi hapo lakini experience ya South Africa mm-hmm. ilikuwaje because mm-hmm. naona ulienda pia Tres mm-hmm. South Africa ulienda katika ofisi za Sony nadhani kulikuwa kuna vitu vingi kule mnafanya yeah. experience as a whole ilikuwaje kule South Africa ukiachana okay, yeah. pia na kwenda ku sign two deal ya Sony mm-hmm. kuna other projects kule mlifanya mm-hmm. yeah it was a really really great experience i think like tulipiga kelele sana mpaka South Africa nzima eka Mm-hmm. See mama like damn kweli tumevamiwa na Tanzania. Mm-hmm. Um kwa hiyo tulipata like nilipata mialiko like we went trace like while you reach out while you know oh they're here let's invite them over to our offices. So it was really really good tumeanza kukutana na watu mbali mbali um and just yeah it was a good experience good networking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Ngoma nini hazijafanyika kule collabs and oh, stuff. Oh yes collab kila kitu vimefanyika lakini Vitu vimeenda poa. Yeah. Just, Vitu viko? Viko just chillax. <laughs> Vitu viko chini chini. Yeah. Imechukua miezi saba mm. before ya release ngoma mpya. Yeah. Last release kwako ilikuwa ni tucheze mm-hmm. actually one of the ngoma flani kali oh, sana. Asante. I love the vibe ya ngoma mm. the way ulivyocheza mule ndani asante. na kila kitu. Lakini seven months ndio leo tunakuja kukutana hapo kwenye podcast. Mm-hmm. Lakini kwa nini imechukua hii miezi saba mm. haijafanyika release mm-hmm. yote ulikuwa huko kimya tu? Yeah, so katika hizi miezi saba ndo nilikuwa ninafanya mazungumzo na Sony and etc. Um, but also at the same time working on an EP ambayo oh, yeah? inakuja. Wow. So nilisema nataka tu focus on just recreating my sound and all of that. So mm-hmm. that's why I decided to take a break. You know, good things come to those who wait. Oh yeah. <laughs> kwa hiyo nimekuwa tu niko jikoa nini napika lakini very very soon I'm excited I'll be able to share everything that I've been working on. Um yeah. Title of the EP? Abigail. Jina langu. Kizazi sana. Yeah. Asante. Umo ndani kutoka kuna ngoma ngapi? Um mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I don't know if that's classified information. <laughs> oh really? Yes, kuna kwa kuna collab kutoka ndani ya Tanzania like na nje pia. Mm-hmm. So what to just stay ready, super excited to mm-hmm. just hear everything. So after EP itakuja album or plan ni nini? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Vitu ni vingi. <laughs> Mambo ni mengi. Yes. Na uko under Sony now, imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Unawezo mzuri sana. Nadhani ulifanya collab kali na Rayvani ya Stay. Yeah. Kama nilisikia vizuri katika verse yako ni kama ulipita kwa kifaransa mm. ulipita na french then yes. na kusikia ukiimba kiswahili mm-hmm. kiingereza mm-hmm. hizi lugha tatu unaziweka una, una sana kwenye mziki wako yes. lugha ipi upo comfortable sana kuimba nayo zaidi um i definitely kiingereza kiingereza yeah, uko very comfortable yeah, lakini zote na niko comfortable nazo mm-hmm. um and that's why napenda kuzi incorporate kwenye nyimbo zangu zote oh, yeah. Yeah. kuna siku utakuja kusikia ngoma yako naimba mwanzo mwisho Kiswahili mm-hmm. yes kabisa oh, mwanzo yeah. mwisho Kiswahili nyingine mwanzo mwisho Kifaransa mm-hmm. yeah who knows hata espanyola i don't ah, know ah unapita nazo zote hizo <laughs> no, like no, espanyola not so much i don't think no unless mtu But... akutrain labda wewe yeah, oh, yeah. yeah but you love to ungependa ufanye hiyo yeah, ngoma ningependa sana ya yeah. kizazi sana. Asante. Sasa wakati unaandika kwa mfano ni French, ni Kiswahili na mm. Kiingereza. Mm. Kipi kinakuwa ni kigumu kidogo kuandika wakati unachora ngoma? Mm, I think the most kuandika ni Kifaransa. Kinakuwa kidogo. Yeah. Kwa sababu nini. yeah, it just is because it's not so it's not my first language. Mm-hmm. So it's normally a bit harder to grasp the words. Mm-hmm. Um yeah. Oh yeah, sawa. Nataka nikurudishe pale ambapo ulikuwa unazungumza kwamba 
female artists wanakutana na challenges wakitaka kuingia kwenye game mm. kuna kuwa kuna mitazamo ambayo ipo unless unakutana na producer unakutana na labda let's say na DJ mm. presenter au at artist mm. inakuwa inaonekana mpaka kuna vitu fulani vi happen ndo unaweza kupata nafasi and stuff like that mm-hmm. kwa Rayvani ilikuwaje kwa sababu wakati mefanya hii collab ya Stay mm-hmm. picha mlizopiga zilienda viral sana kwenye yeah. social media mm-hmm. you guys mefanya video kali sana Be- because zilianza picha before the video kutoka mm-hmm. zile ambazo unaonekana me hug mm-hmm. na mikono and stuff mm-hmm. like that familia walichukuliaje zile picha mm-hmm. na kukutana na picha kama zile kwa Abi think ndo kama ilikuwa ni kitu cha kwanza hivi yeah. watu wanaanza ku connect dot and stuff like that mm-hmm. ilikuwa je ile yeah so familia yangu eh, ilikuwa haiko shocked kwa sababu pia nili, kama nilivyosema my family wako involved sana kama hata kwenye shoot mama yangu alikuwa hapo alikuwa pale kwenye shoot in fact kama <laughs> <laughs> Mtu akinisogelea sana anasema hey okay yeah. two likes Stay you know? away. <laughs> let's chill likes yeah na, don't close that line yeah na wote tunajua kwamba ni it's just work ni kazi tu ilikuwa ni video na mm-hmm. unajua ukiwa behind the scenes photographers wanachukua photos and yeah, all of that yeah. lakini watu wakiona wana jump to conclusion wana connect dot yeah exactly lakini yeah. ilikuwa ni video tu na fam yangu inajua na mimi ninajua watu tunajua um yeah picha nje ilikuwa je ilikuwa ikusumbui kwamba unaona sasa sasa hivi umeingia kwenye hmm. trend yani unazungumziwa kama vile upo kwenye relationship kitu ambacho mm. huko haiko kitangaza before yeah. kutoka kwa ma fans page mbalimbali za mitandao zinaongelea hivyo mm. ulichukuliaje haikuwa ina pressure hiyo um no sio sana kwa sababu unajua ukianza ukiwa like a public figure ukianza kujiruhusu upate pressure kwa sababu ya kila kitu ambayo unaongelea kwenye mitandao utakufa mm-hmm. mapema <laughs> kwa hiyo mi, kwa hiyo mimi yani waga si kwanza waga si sizisomi hizo vitu mm-hmm. hata siangali sizisomi hizo articles siangali comments kwa sababu mimi najua ninachokifanya mimi najua niko disciplined niko focused kwa hiyo if the fans wanna jump to conclusions i just feel like you know maybe that's their choice you know oh, what i'm yeah. saying as long as i know what i'm doing and i know my stance so for me what guy it doesn't bother you yeah yeah nataka nikuchukue kwenye post yako ya ig instagram ulimwish birthday uh leo fire mmoja kati actually wa kurugenzi katika rockstar na wakati unaandika ile caption yako iliandika vitu vingi sana lakini kuna this one niliamua niichukue na nataka nikuulize ilitokana na nini ulisema you found a best friend who also happens to be as strict and overprotective mm. as your father. Yes. Nataka nielewe Leo Fire mm. ndio kama sehemu ya management yako kwa Rockstar mm. lakini hapo unasema alikuwa very strict mm. na overprotective mm. kama baba yako tu. Mm. Yeah. Ni mtu yeah. aina gani mlivyo link up na nini? I think labda yeah. the first time mmekutana in South Africa mm-hmm. kama no. siko say, right? Oh hapana, tumeshawahi kukutana mm-hmm. kabla. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um yeah niliandika hiyo kwa sababu yani kwangu mimi sio just like uh, let's say the CEO of Rockstar mm-hmm. our manager wangu mm-hmm. lakini kwangu mimi mm-hmm. is so much more it's like family yani kama baba yangu yeah. you know like hata tukiwa tuna we're having conversations you know it's not just hata kini advice and all of that stuff sio tu kwenye let's say a uh, manager artist perspective mm-hmm. lakini anambia you know like a like a father his advice is very fatherly and and i just really feel that love family love you know mm-hmm. quite that's why i felt like saying that oh yeah, yeah. brand new record ngoma mpya inaitwa you mkono wa zombie as to kids yes. kufanya kazi na zombie kwenye this new mm. record imekwaje yeah it was really nice zombie is a vibe mm-hmm. he's a vibe na mimi ni mtu ambaye like um nikiwa studio niki flow na na beat mm-hmm. na andika pale pale like, oh, yeah. nikisikia tu it's like damn like kwa hiyo mimi nilikuwa on a, on a level i love zombie na ilikuwa on a level like oh hapa tufanye pam 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 i'm like yes i love tufanye pam 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 kwa hiyo ili flow sana mm-hmm. like it was a great experience kwa kweli oh yeah, yeah it was, really it was first time right yes ilikuwa mara no ni, yani nilishawe kufanya kazi na estukizi mm-hmm. lakini sio kwenye personal project but mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that was the first time it was just us like on our on my own record mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. with him kwao the vibes were really they were unmatched oh yeah, yeah. ngoma inaitwa you why you no inaitwa you and i you and i yes. kwa nini wewe na mimi yeah, yani kwa nini that title yes kwa sababu uh, kwenye nyimbo you know it's um okay kwenye ile chorus inasema kama sukari na chai chai minawe ni suti na tai tai you when i forever till we die die yani kama suti wewe unaweza kunywa chai bila sukari mm mm, mm not really exactly mm-hmm. ukivaa suti unaweza kuvaa suti bila tai Unaweza sometimes you can rap. Okay. Like, kama uko kaji. Ina zaidi ikiwa ina tie. Lakini kama you on a red carpet thing you trying mm. to look amazing. Most definitely. You can have the tie. 
Why? Most definitely. Why you, you know it's a love song and mm-hmm. I celebrate upendo mm-hmm. and you know. So for me the lyrics it was like like come on over fire kuwa na chukai na chai unavyokuwa na suti na tai. You and I. Yani lazima mimi you and I be. So you in love right now? Oh me? Mm-hmm. I mean with myself yes because oh, yeah. self love is the best. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you don't see anyone. I mean no kwa sasa hivi hapana. You know kama wana muziki unatengeneza muziki for kwa watu wengine ku enjoy. Kuna mtu out there ambayo is they're married, they're in love, you know. They want to sing something to their wife on their wedding day. Ndio hao ndo nimewatengeneza hapa. Asa yeye idea ilikujaje? You and I. <laughs> oh, um unajua as a musician you have to be poetic. Mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. you have to put yourself in the shoes of other people kiu kweli mimi sija i've never been in love before oh yeah kiu kweli lakini you know i'm still young you know kwa zingine labda na waza labda siku maybe when i do fall in love i would say those things yeah oh yeah umesha ku imagine mtu ambaye uta fall in love naye and like this guy yeah ni mtu aina gani what kind of guy is this you um, call i don't know like kiu kweli Ah, kitu yangu na vitu vingi bwana. Yaani nimesainiwa na Sony yani na nawaza kutoa EP. Yaani nikianza kuwaza nikianza <laughs> kuwaza a uh, guy that I want to fall in love with. Mm-hmm. I will just So, kikweli sijawahi kukatch ni yani nikaanza ku daydream. You know mimi mm. na daydream kuhusu transactions. Mm. Ah, mia mala. Yo, exactly. Mia mala. Yeah, si daydream kuhusu wavlana kikweli. Oh yeah. yeah. Kizazi sana. By the way, it's a nice song. I love the melody. I love the hook hook flani kali sana. Sukari nimeisikia huko ndani. Mm. Umesema hiyo suti na tie and mm. stuff like that. E melody mm. ilikuja vipi? Ni pale pale ulipata ulipofika tu kwa zombie na kila kitu kilifanyika yeah. siku hiyo hiyo. Yaani just one day mka yeah. record na kila kitu kikaisha. Siku hiyo hiyo tain tik tain tik tak tak tain. Ta tain kat tain hiyo kitu. Ndio nilisikia nikisema damn I don't even know. It was funny kwa sababu kwanza hiyo esukizi alikuchukua microphone. Akafa nikamsikia tunafanya tain tik tain tik tak tak tain. Nikasema eh nafanya nini? Like what is he saying? Because when you hear it it sounds really weird. Then he put it all together. I fell in love with the beat. Yani liposikia tu I just started hearing about those. Kama sukari na chai chai. Yani it flow. It just came so naturally and it just yeah, it was really magical. Wow. Yeah. And the video is ready kila kitu kiko poa. Everything. Unyama kabisa. kabisa. Video bongo essay. Bongo. Kila kitu bongo. Yes. Lakini kuna machupa essay yanafanyika, right? Yes, kabisa. South Africa. Yeah. <laughs> Sawa. So now uko Sony, uko Rockstar, unafanya major stuff, umesema EP is coming mm. na ngoma ndio hapa mpya imetoka, lakini bado pia una vitu kibao unataka kufanya. Yes. Future collab zako ni zipi? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Future collabs. I don't know, man. I'm thinking about Drake. Oh yeah. You know, maybe Doja Cat. Doja Cat. Yeah. Those Levo are, Izo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Doja Cat. Yeah. Yo, you want me to mention more? Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> uh yeah, Rema. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um yeah. Wow. Kizazi, <laughs> nataka nikurudishe nyuma kidogo if you don't mind though. Yeah. Wakati ule mnafanya stay na Rayvanny kulikuwa kuna ule ukaribu wa zile picha ambazo tuliziona kwenye social media mm. and i think we pia uko active kwenye social media mm. wakati mko studio next level mna record ngoma mm. stories zilitengenezwa au mm. tuliaminishwa kwamba mm. now that abicham zatakuwa signed under next level music kwa Rayvanny mm. vitu baadaye vimekuja vimetokea rockstar sony music kweli kulikuwa kunayo mazungumzo kusainiwa uh, kwa Rayvanny mm. kweli kulikuwa kuna mazungumzo mm-hmm. Um lakini I guess God's plans were different. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. Amkuweza kumaliza kwenye terms au Apana, It took so long. Unajua nilipata offer nyingi sana. Wow. Kwa wakati mmoja. Mm-hmm. Vitu vilikuwa vingi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kwa hiyo kwa sababu wazazi wangu walikuwa wakinisimamia walisema nikifikisha miaka 18 ndo we will completely get into the industry. Mm-hmm. So nikaanza kupata offer sana nyingi from different labels. labels. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, um kulikuwa kuna mazungumzo na next level they did reach out. Mm-hmm. Um lakini mimi um my goals and aspirations have always been to cross over. Na oh, kwa hiyo yeah. nilipokuwa naanza kuchagua ni label EP ni ni sign now, um, niliangalia 
ni lebu ipe mbao ngi nisaidia kufika ayo malengo. Yani mm-hmm. kukross over, kufuka mipaka. Globally. Yeah, na kuenda global, you know, mm-hmm. take Tanzania to the world. Wow. So, I think that's one of the main reasons kwa nini, you know, nilichagua Sony. Wow. Na unajiona sasa hivi malengo yako yanatimia, right? Yeah. Yani we mwenye ukikaa, ukifanya tathmini zako, ukijicheki, mm. unawana kabisa like, zile vitu ambavyo ulikuwa unafikiria zile ndoto ambazo ulikuwa unafikiria mm. sasa hivi vitu vinakaa kwenye mstari yeah sasa hivi kiukweli a lot of the goals ambao nilikuwa nimejiwekea zime zimetimia kwa sababu nakumbuka not very long ago niliandika waga nina kitabu actually niliandika mm-hmm. all of my goals for the year mm-hmm. nilisema nataka kusainiwa na major a global record lately. wow wow na you know so ni happen kwa ina mshukuru Mungu sana lakini this is just a tiny fraction like mm. Yaani bado hata nusu bado hazijatimia. Kwa hiyo ninaamini kwamba bado nina kazi nyingi kufanya a lot more to do just so we can actually get there. Hmm. Umesema hata nusu bado hujafikia. Yeah. What are your major goals then? My major goals. Yeah. My major goals like the one at the top of the list kabisa mm-hmm. ni kupata Grammy. Wow. Like tangu nilikuwa kama like miaka 11 nilisema one day I'm going to get a Grammy award. Like mm-hmm. that's at the top of the list. So mm-hmm. baby steps. Unajua mtoto ha anzi kukimbia kabla hajaanza kutambaa mm-hmm. kutembea. So mm-hmm. na right now we're just slowly getting there. Wow. Yeah. Kizazi sana. Exactly. Hivi ukikaa kwa mfano wewe mwenyewe labda tu upo nyumbani labda katika mishemishe zako and stuff like that. Mm. Ratiba yako inakuwaje kwa mm. siku? Mm. Like ile ukiamka asubuhi, mchana na usiku ratiba yako inakuwaje? Yeah. Daily routine. So my daily routine kiukweli waga ina tofautiana mm-hmm. kwa sababu I, feel, I think kila siku ina something new. Mm-hmm. Um labda na interviews ama na performances or I'm going to the studio. Lakini let's say on a regular day kama sina kitu like specifically labda on a Sunday or I don't know no Sunday na ndio nani kanisani. Lakini on a Saturday or something um okay nikiamka asubuhi a uh, family yangu ina we have a rule ya kukula nani breakfast pamoja. Oh yeah kwa wote tunamka asubuhi sana na lazima tukae tunatengeneza breakfast and everything mm-hmm. tunakaa meza ni kama familia tunaongea we pray tunaomba for the day wow yeah Amazing. um alafu normally i work out na my sister and my brother tunaenda gym pamoja mm-hmm. um and then after that whatever the day brings maybe comes labda lakini pia kila siku i always do vocal exercises so whenever i na uweza kupata muda nafanya mazoezi za ya kuimba mm-hmm. um ya kupiga kinanda violin ambayo nafanya kila siku Um yeah labda nta if i'm not doing anything tasoma napenda sana kusoma vitabu mm-hmm. tasaidia jikoni um nita i don't know labda nitatembeza mbwa wangu it depends like whatever the day brings yeah mm-hmm. so jikoni unasaidia nini yeah i don't know inachokuwa inahitajika labda kama kosha because of hard way wezi kupika wezi kufanya chochoto hapana jamani umesikia wapi <laughs> no <laughs> inajua kupika mm-hmm. um ninajua kupika especially i love baking mm-hmm. Um na yani mama yangu ni strict msimone yani anamkuja na mimi hapa interview na nitokea nyumbani she's very very strict so oh. yani lazima usaidie na kazi za nyumbani hajalishi kwa sababu obviously we have help in the house mm-hmm. lakini lazima pia usaidie mm-hmm. um yeah obviously there are some things like i'm sure you're talking about the ugali mm-hmm. um that is a bit hard kusonga lakini everything else i can make oh yeah safi sana sasa muziki unapata na fast actually katika kuandika mm. katika ku compose nyimbo ile mashairi and stuff like that mm. unapata nafasi mara nyingi muda gani yeah um uwaga... I don't know like si waga si semi yani sasa hivi naenda kukaa kuandika mm-hmm. naweza hata kunikiwa jikoni au hata niko chumbani kwangu labda nasoma kitabu afu in my head napata tuwazo na waga nachukua simu yangu nina record ili mm-hmm. nisisahau oh, yeah. um, lakini kama haiji tu waga labda nitakuwa nikiwa napiga kinanda oh, yeah. saa zingine napiga tu chords random alafu nasema oh that sounded nice kwa mm-hmm. naziandika hizo chords alafu labda baadaye ndo tarudi ku listen to them again and sing like sina formula mm-hmm. ya kuandika ni saa zingine inakuja tu kichwani alafu inapokuja yeah. inspiration idea hapo hapo una bust nayo ushindi yeah, mwingi yeah yeah alafu la, then when i go to the studio i'll work on it yeah. Oh, yeah. lakini actually nyimbo zangu nyingi mm-hmm. waga nikiwa studio like when i hear the beat ndo inakuja oh yeah, yeah. so mm-hmm. yani ukipata beat na vibe inaanzia hapo hapo yeah. na mzuka natoka mm-hmm. mara nyingi nyimbo zako nyingi ndo umerecord hivyo Yeah, most of them. Yaani zote zina tofauti. There's some like that afu zingine waga naziandika kabla nikiingia studio ndo namwambia producer nataka hivi 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 hivi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wao naandika mwenyewe huko na ngoma zingine wana wanaweza kukusaidia kupen. Yeah, mimi waga naandika mwenyewe. Lakini kama nikipata msaada ni labda kwenye <laughs> Labda kwenye 
kwenye grammar mm-hmm. ya Kiswahili. Mm-hmm. Yaani sasa zingine waga anachanganya vitu kidogo. Mm-hmm. Kwa hiyo labda sasa zingine napata um, usaidizi kurekebisha tu baadhi ya kurekebisha hiyo grammar yeah lakini wewe anaandika ngoma zangu mwenyewe kizazi sana asante mziki wako mtu haraka haraka akikutana naye for the first time akataka kuelewa yani what your music talks about what your music speaks about mm. utamwambia nini i think what my music speaks about in general is life kwa sababu ni na nyimbo ambazo nimeandika kuhusu I think love mapenzi mm-hmm. kuna zingine nimeandika kuhusu a lot about like mental health kwa sababu mm-hmm. mimi ni mtu ambaye I'm very passionate about that yeah. um I've written a lot about things like anxiety and mm-hmm. stuff mm-hmm. um nimeandika kuhusu gender based violence oh, yeah. yani naandika kuhusu maisha oh, in yeah. general oh, yeah. yeah kizazi yeah. what is one thing that you would love uje siku moja uhakikisha unakiweka kwenye mziki wako unaimba siku moja mm. kitu gani ambacho like ukikaa mara kwa mara yani this idea inakuwa na kuumiza kichwa yani mm. which siku moja uje ukiimbe hmm i don't know i guess i have to think about it a little cuz i don't know i feel Hakuna like kitu ambacho kinagonga <laughs> like like every now and then naandika but um I don't know. Mimi nataka tu watu wasikilize my music and to just feel inspired. So I don't know what it is exactly ambayo in my head lakini kila nikiandika nataka mtu asikilize and just be inspired by my sound. Wow, yeah. kizazi sana. So now you and I is out mm-hmm. na after you and I nini kingine kinakuja? Yes, after you and I kuna nyimbo nyingine nakuja collab moja bombastic mm-hmm. um, ambayo zote ziko kwenye EP you and I na hii collab mm-hmm. and then EP yote itatoka. Yeah. Wow. When the EP is going to drop? I think you all should just stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Unatubania vitu. No. Mambo tu yameiva right now. Just relax. Baby steps. Sasa hivi to focus to you and I. Msikilize, msikilize. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, mtashtikia tu. Boom. Imetoka. Em nombo niimbie yeah. kidogo you and I hapa special <laughs> kwa kila mtu ambaye anatazama yeah. interview hapa kali ya kizazi. Mm. Okay. When we together Nothing else matters mm-hmm. And baby it's just you and me There's no one else I'd rather be No, tukiwa pamoja Wani pafaraja I've never seen a love like this Never seen a love like this No, sukari na tai tai Ninawe ni suti na tai tai You and I forever till we die die You and I, you and I, ha, 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 come on Suka rina chai chai minawe ni su tina chai chai you and i forever till we die die you and i you and i wow Thank amazing you. Ya kizazi sana Asante. it's a dope record thank you kwa nini mara nyingi uko unaimba kwa isevo au unafumba macho sijui Unajua watu wameshaniuliza hiyo mara nyingi lakini sijui I think sasa zingine ni kiba. Comes naturally. It just yeah, I don't know why. Mhm. Mm. Yaani lazima ufumbe macho. Yeah, sijui kwa nini. Yaani ki kweli lakini I think unajua ni kimba waga no, like I don't know I just I feel like inani consume mm-hmm. like it just takes control of me mpaka mimi na just tukia tu ni kama siko hapa. Yaani usinge nisinge kumbuka niko kwenye interview ningeweza kuendelea tu kuimba <laughs> na kuimba. So yeah. I like that. Yeah. Ukiwa studio wakati tuna record ni vitu gani vitatu lazima uwe navyo? Hmm. Maji? Mhm. Um I think simu yangu mm-hmm. kwa sababu lazima ni record kwa sababu zingine Yaani nikipata kitu afu nikisikiliza kitu nyingine na sahau. Mm-hmm. Um, na waga na book yangu. Yaani ni kama ni, ni kitabu ya nyimbo mm-hmm. tu. Waga na kapale. Sasa zingine unajua na amka tu kutoka usingizini mm-hmm. na melody kichwani. Kwa hiyo mm-hmm. na kwa hiyo lazima niwe na kitabu changu pale na ile nani um, nani simu yangu. Kwa sababu sasa zingine niki record mm-hmm. sisiki maneno. Kwa sababu mm-hmm. ni naamka Okay, afuna la la for eh. Maneno sije kumbuka. Kwa hiyo hizo lazima ni zana nime nazo. Oh yeah. yeah. Na hiyo unaifanya like every now and then hata ikiwa saa tisa za usiku ukipata yeah. tu idea unashtuka. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So umesema maji, kitabu na mm-hmm. simu. Mm-hmm. Na ukitoka like out, mm-hmm. let's say unatoka nyumbani, mm-hmm. unaenda tu katika shopping, matembezi and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Ni vitu gani vitatu lazima uwe navyo? Nikitoka, hmm, lazima niwe na simu. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um Ish, tatu tu. Mhm. Da. Okay. How there so Simi many? Yangu, mm-hmm. Hand sanitizer. Mhm. Um, I don't know. Simi yangu mm. hand sanitizer. 
So that's it. I guess. Oh, yeah? That, yeah, lip gloss. <laughs> mm-hmm. Lip gloss. Because well, nobody wants chapped lips. So oh, yeah? lip gloss as well, yeah. Kizazi sana. Yeah. By the way, we ni mtu ambaye una energy sana. Yeah. Ni mtu ambaye like every now and then yani una vibe, una yeah. energy na kila kitu. <laughs> Ukiwa uko umekatika mood, yani mtu kakukata. Mm. Wewe unafanya nini mm. kutoka kupata like yani uwe poa, yani u feel ah. fresh. Mfano mimi sometimes nikiwa siko poa, yeah. I'll listen to music, I'll mm-hmm. lock in myself, mm-hmm. I can go to the beach and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Kwako inakuaje cuz unaona ni always mtu wa vibe and stuff like that. Yeah. Mtu akikukata inakuaje? Yeah. Yani I don't know. Mimi ni mtu ambao si kasiriki sana like hata mtu akinikasisha naweza hata nikacheka you know. Um lakini kama careless mtu, flani tu yeah, kwamba you don't yeah, I really you care. Know. Lakini kama really kitu umenikasirisha I think normally I would just step away like ningeenda tu mahali niwe mwenyewe because like when you come to and yeah. stuff about you would regret later. Mm-hmm. Kwa hiyo like labda I'd go to my room or just far away from people. Um kama niko nyumbani uh, my favorite room nyumbani kwangu ni kuna kuna chumba tunaita study mm-hmm. ambayo ndo nawekaga vyombo vyangu na waga tuna like kufanya like my like whatever homework and mm-hmm. stuff like that mm-hmm. my favorite room ever kwa hiyo nitaenda pale study labda nitacheza kinanda lakini kama siko nyumbani i always have my headphones actually ulivyo ni uliza ile study nitakiwa ni sema lazima ni wewe na headphones zangu oh, yeah. so when you go out yes mm-hmm. so i'd probably listen to music like mm-hmm. that is literally the only thing that can actually make me forget kwa sababu nitajikuta tu naanza kucheza na vibe alafu nakumbuka he nilikuwa nimekasirika yeah imeisha hivyo vya kula gani upendelei um Ah, nachukia parachichi. Parachichi. Nachukia parachichi sana. Mhm. Uh, yeah, sipendi parachichi. <laughs> so, <laughs> what are you guys going to do? Okay. No, yeah, nachukia parachichi. <laughs> um Mhm. Um nachukia. You know, unajua chukia chuki sio ni neno no, it's a it's a it's a very strong word mm-hmm. i won't say like, i hate upendelei sipendi mm-hmm. parachichi mm-hmm. sipendi um uh, mm, mm, okay sorry na jaribu it's very funny kwa sababu mimi ni mtu ambaye i'm very picky ugali <laughs> ugali unaja kila mtu ana taste zake <laughs> Um ni kama tu taste zangu hazikupendelea taste <laughs> za ugali lakini sio kama ni mbaya ugali ni nzuri Hata <laughs> sijiko ni ninacheka <laughs> Um Oh yeah Yeah um Ugali la taste of tofauti I never I didn't know Lakini si kuna ugali tofauti kuna mm-hmm. ugali wa sembe muhogo oh, eh, exactly mm-hmm. No lakini ya yeah, ugali kiukweli sipendi na view taste mm-hmm. yeah um na parachichi na parachichi pia um sipendi samaki lakini yani mama yangu <laughs> okay um upendi samaki napenda samaki lakini tu mama yangu akitengeneza mm-hmm. like mama yangu ana jinsi ya kutengeneza samaki nzuri lakini nikila samaki mali popote hata kwenye restaurant or anything sipendi i don't know why but it just doesn't taste nice we smell the taste right yeah the taste mm-hmm. um mbuzi nyama ya mbuzi ah afu nimekumbuka unajua kuna soup moja mm-hmm. <laughs> mama yangu anaipenda sana mm-hmm. soup ni soup ya utumbo mhm ulimi na utumbo they no ni utumbo yeah so bad yeah, and you don't like it it's so bad mm-hmm. yeah, to, uh, sometimes i wonder like how i really don't <laughs> like it and it's a vp yeah okay mm-hmm. so these on the, the top of my list oh yeah na vyakula unavyopendelea oh um napenda sana zabibu mhm um i love grapes napenda granola mm-hmm. um yeah granola is like my favorite to ever have mm-hmm. ah, yeah. Chapati. Chapati. Wow. Ah, Unajua mm-hmm. mimi ninaweza kula chapati kumi. Wow. Yaani za kusukuma. 
eh hey, za kusukuma mm. au unajua kutengeneza chapati kwa hiyo kwa wale ambao wanafikiri kama mimi siwezi kupika mm-hmm. hello anyways it's fine mm-hmm. chakutengeneza chakuletea siku moja oh, wow. um, appreciate yeah napenda sana chapati actually mm-hmm. what it's like my favorite chapati kumi yes, yeah yani mpaka saa zingine mamangu inabidi yani azifunge yani saa zingine anazificha mm-hmm. <laughs> nyumbani kwa sababu anajua ananisaidia mimi like it's not healthy yani mm-hmm. napenda chapati sana like mm-hmm. it's not even okay mm-hmm. um yeah napenda chapati za bibu napenda kuku sana wow. so much like naweza kula kuku asubuhi mchana na jioni unakula kuku mzima kuku mzima oh yeah all of it lakini sio miguu and then i eat all of it hadi uh, <laughs> <laughs> kichwa unakula oh okay no sio kichwa okay mm-hmm. kichwa miguu hapana lakini kila kitu <laughs> yes Wakula. kabisa napenda kuku sana mm-hmm. mm mm-hmm. pretty much that yeah those are my fave kizazi sana mm-hmm. I love your music. I love everything that you do. Ongea na, na the girls hapa, uongee nao ambao of course yeah. wamekuwa ni mafans zako. Anasikiliza mm-hmm. mziki. They like what you do. Yeah. And actually nataka niamini wasichana wenye umri mdogo ambao wanapigania ndoto zao mm-hmm. lazima wawe so proud of you yeah. kwa achievement ambayo umeipata ya kuwa signed under Sony na kuwa managed na Rockstar because hizi ni kampuni kubwa sana. Mm-hmm. Na nadhani hii ni ndoto ya kila msanii yeah. wangependa kupata hizo nafasi but Thanks God we may yeah. Is there any message that you have for the your fans out there, young girls out yeah. there? Um I think ningependa tu kwa kwanza kuwashukuru all of my fans. You know kwa sababu ya support ambayo wananipa. Bila support yao I wouldn't really I really wouldn't be an artist. Nisinge kwa mwanamuziki. Kwa hiyo ningependa ku kuambia kwamba ninawapenda. Asanteni sana na kwa just any mstana ambaye anaangalia sasa hivi kwamba yani mi kama mimi ninaweza. I'm telling you wewe unaweza haijalishi everyone has a story tofauti everyone has different circumstances lakini mm-hmm. i believe kwamba as long as wewe unajiamini na unaamini kwamba unaweza kufanya you can do whatever you set your mind to doing yani mtu pekee ambayo amesimama kati ya wewe na ndoto zako ni wewe tu kwa hiyo mm-hmm. you stand up for yourself hata kama watu wengine hawakuamini wewe wape give them a reason to believe in you you mm-hmm. know kwa sababu once you show them that you believe in yourself watu watakuwa hawana option yeah. they won't have an option they'll try to ignore you watajaribu ku put down lakini it will reach a place they won't be able to do anymore and they say when you can't beat them you join them mm-hmm. so at some point they're going to join you mm-hmm. so i just like to say that and yeah that's it Wow, congratulations once again. Thank you. And actually God bless you. Amen. Na dhani tutategemea mambo mazuri kutoka kwako. Yes. EPs, album, Grammy, BTs, VMAs, you name Amen it. To that. Amen. And list flani very ref sana usio. Amen. Guys, mekuwa ya kizazi sana piga ma story kibao na the most talented. Abigail so, Champs. You already know. Subscribe kwenye channel hii uh. Lil Omi TV and by the way, angusha comment kibao lakini pia unaweza ka like na vile vile usisahau kwenda kusikia ngoma yake mpya brand new record you and i kali sana zombie kaua sana huko ndani damn the melody the hook and everything amazing au sio signing out the mvp king of interviews holla at your boy the little